In the previous video, we learned how to render a list in React Native using the scroll view component and the map method. But with this method, all items are rendered even if they're not in the viewport. Let me demonstrate that. Within the map method, I'm going to log the Pokemon ID. The UI renders only six items in the viewport, but if we take a look at the terminal, the ID of all 100 Pokemon is logged. While rendering all list items might not be an issue for small lists, for larger datasets consisting of thousands of items, it can lead to performance problems. In React Native, the recommended approach to rendering lists is to use the flat list component which renders only the items currently in view, making it highly performant for long lists. Let's see it in action. Step one, comment out the scroll view component code. Step two, import flat list component from React Native. Step three, replace the map method code with the flat list component code. So flat list, is a self-closing component. And this component has two mandatory props. First, we have data. The data prop is used to pass the array of items that you want to render in the list. It's the source of information for the flat list. In our case, it is Pokemon list. The second mandatory prop is render item. The render item prop is a function that returns the JSX for rendering each item in the list. The function receives an object containing the current item and you can define how each item should be rendered. This is the same as what we return from the map method. So copy the return statement and paste it. We do have to change Pokemon to item. If we now take a look at the UI, we can still see our list and we can scroll down to the bottom. But this list is more performant. Let's verify that by logging the item ID to the console. So within the render item function, console log item.id. If we now take a look at the terminal, we can see the first 64 IDs instead of 100. Now you might think that this is incorrect. We see six or seven items in the viewport, but we see 64 in the terminal. How is that right? Well, the thing is, Flatlist component ensures it generates a few devices length of content in advance to ensure smooth scrolling. But now that the initial number of cards have been rendered, if we scroll down a bit, you can see the additional IDs being logged in the console. They are lazily loaded to ensure smooth scrolling. If you were to try this experiment with an array of 50 Pokemon, you would see all 50 in the logs and would assume Flatlist has no performance benefits. I wanted to make sure you don't walk away with that wrong idea and hence the long list of items with really large cards. On a side note, if you want to render the list horizontally, you can add the horizontal prop and set it to true. You can see the cards are now rendered horizontally. The styling needs to be adjusted and I will leave that to you as an exercise. If this is clear, let me highlight one more prop before we proceed to the next video. The prop is key extractor. This prop is a function that takes an item from the data array and returns a unique key for that item. It is used to identify the unique items in the list, similar to the key prop when using the map method. By default, it returns item.key and if that is not present, it returns item.id. If that as well is not present, it uses the item index as key. Index, by the way, is available as second argument to the callback function 
where the first argument is the item itself. In our case, we do have an ID property for every item, and the same is used by default. However, you can define it yourself. So item returns item.id. And we convert this to string as the function should return a string. But I believe there is implicit conversion for a numeric type. If we save the file, our UI should still be working as expected. Now we are missing the horizontal padding, so you can wrap the flat list component with a view component and add style is equal to styles.scrollView. Now the key can be misleading because all we are doing is setting a horizontal padding. So please rename the property. But if we save the file, a list of Pokemon should look much better. Now apart from data, render item, horizontal and key extractor, there are quite a few props that can be used to customize the behavior and appearance of the flat list. Let's see what they are in the upcoming videos. But to summarize what we have learned in this video, a scroll view renders all its React child components at once and has a performance downside. Flatlist, on the other hand, renders items lazily when they're about to appear and removes items that scroll way off screen to save memory and processing time. Using Flatlist is a recommended approach to render lists in React Native. All right, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.